guys, it's Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and I am back with a hero deck. If you are new to my channel, thank you for showing up and I appreciate you being here. On my channel, I like to do witchy subscription unboxings, one self-care subscription box and tarot and oracle deck unboxings and reviews. And if you're a returning friend, hey girl, what's up? Or hey bro, I don't know, hey bro. So, I know what this box is because I know the name on the front. This is from Jamie Sawyer. If you guys don't know Jamie Sawyer, look her up. Um, I believe on Instagram she is Jamie with an IE Sawyer underscore 336. I'll link it below as well as her website. Um, I have been following Jamie and stalking her for I think a couple years now. So I have her Sawyer's Path tarot deck which is freaking gorge. I love it. It's on my altar. It's a deck that I reach for. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing that deck, let me know. Um, I, like I said, I've had it for a couple years and this is her newest deck. I also, just to show Jamie is very artsy and creative. This is a, um, a tarot card holder. You know, you put them in the slots, like if you do some daily draws. And she, um, I, I'm assuming she has a glow forge, like a laser cutter. So um, I have that of hers. I know I have some more stuff. It's probably over there. But anyways, so I've been anxiously awaiting this deck. I've got more goodies. I think that I ordered extra stuff. You just never know. So this is, I backed her on Kickstarter. So here is the deck. It's called Pocket of Peers. And then I got, I did get a bunch of extra goodies. So I got another, oh, this is very nice. Another tarot card stand. How cool is that? It's got like the mountains. It almost looks like, um, I'm assuming that this is like the little cliff that the fool is, it jumps off of, you know. Ah! And it's, this is a little bit different. Like it's kind of, laminated or something anyways very nice quality I got a whoops this is sticking together ah, I got a bookmark yay so cool I love the the whole theme of the pocket of peers is amazing so if you guys don't know about this tarot deck basically Jamie started making um, some things that had um, tarot peers um, like their 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 faces on things, right? And then it just developed into a I, you know I don't I don't really know her development process, but this is what I as an observer noticed that she was creating some things with um, people in the tarot world, like their faces, and then it just developed into a tarot deck. So here is a thing of stickers. So this is actually Jamie <laughs> drawing. Yay, I'm excited. Stickers. Oh, there's more stickers. Ah! So here is another batch of stickers. How fun. And then she put a postcard in here. It says, let's get social. And she's got her um, information on here. If you guys want to pause and check that out, I highly recommend Ooh, there's digital rewards. So there's a QR code in here for a digital oh guidebook and, and stickers. And then also I, I got like the hard copy because I just need it in my hands. So then, and I believe her mom, don't completely quote me. Let me, let me take a look. But I thought her mom maybe wrote the guidebook. Look at this guidebook. Very nice. Or maybe her mom contributed, edited, oh, edited in part by Gail Sawyer. So her mom uh, edited it, edited it. So isn't that nice? There's some cool things there. Um, and they are, oh, it's cool. It's actually like a journal. So like here is information about the card and then there's space to write. I don't know if you guys if it's showing up on there. Okay, that's all my goodies. So, I'm going to open this dick. All right. So, while I'm trying to get all the cellophane off of here, um, I have done some 
tarot deck unboxings where the camera is just facing my desk or altar and you just see the cards um, and then I've done some like this where I'm just facing the camera um, so you guys can see my goofy reactions because I know I have some funny faces that I make um, so there is the front of the deck and then the back just has some wording on it so okay so it says teachers come in many forms revealing themselves through chance encounters or showing up via the words of a lifelong friend embodying the adage of how people flow in and out of our lives for a reason a season or a lifetime the peers we meet along the path are messengers mentors and teachers in disguise they shift the course of our lives through these interactions an 80 card deck featuring peers from my life as well as the tarot community blending symbolism from the classic Rider Waite Smith tarot system within the tapestry of each card. Pocket of Peers is a deck that brings clarity from everyday souls that are all doing the best they can to navigate this journey. Jamie Sawyer. And then she has like this little symbol. I feel like I've seen that symbol. It's probably a sigil, like her sigil. And thank you for doing a magnetic closure box. Like, so look at the inside oh my god how cool i love so she has some casting boards um like a big like boards like this not where you put them in the slot but they lay flat and you put your tarot cards out like in a spread and then she also does tarot tiles so there'll be like these little um tiles of tarot cards and they're, um, they've got resin over them so that they're like shiny and nice and you know, um, they're, they're expensive. I haven't bought any, um, I may in the future, but she has some casting boards that go along with this. So first off, gold edges or yellow. And then there's the, here, let me undo this. There's the backs of the cards, how gorge. So what I was going to say is, um, sorry, you guys know I haven't taken my Adderall yet today. Um, how do you prefer this? Do you prefer that I just lay them out and you don't see like my reactions or my face? Like, I mean, I'm sure you want to see the tarot deck instead of my face, but let me know in the comments below how you prefer. Would you rather me do a, you know, camera down to the desk where you only see the cards or do you like it this way where we can like chat and stuff and you can see me make like I do stuff like that all the time so anyways <laughs> or okay so first off the fool Whoa! so it's like new adventures you don't know where you're going the unknown pull in cards okay so hopefully Ugh, I don't want to get this wrong, like who these people are. Some of these people I don't know. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open this book so that way I can follow along and tell you who these people are. Okay, so number one is the magician, and this is Jamie's mom, Gail Sawyer. Very nice. All right, let me figure out how I want to do this. And then, yes ma'am, I know who this is. We have the High Priestess, which is Melissa Sinanova. Very big in the tarot world. Melissa actually lives here in St. Louis. Melissa, be my friend. Can we be friends? She is sarcastic and funny and if you guys don't know her find her website and look at her like video of her it, so she has like a um a video about the tarot class that she teaches and the video is hilarious okay she's <laughs> it, you just have to watch it but anyways melissa Sinanova also wrote Kitchen Table kitchen table Tarot and Kitchen Table Magic, which are both great books um, that I own. And she is supposed to have a Kitchen Table Gathering, I believe. I need to look that up. 
um, and see when that is. So, number three, we have The Empress, and this is Christine Gorman, and this must be somebody she knows. It says Tarot Art tattoo.com oh what's nice is this book actually has everybody's websites that's so great so then we have the emperor which is mantis and that's mantis tarot.com the hierophant is red light readings um i i forget her actual name she is she's got a youtube channel she's big in the tarot world um I've not watched a lot of her stuff. I think she has some courses that uh, my high priestess, Ethany, has offered on her website in the Terror Readers Academy by her. I'm sorry, I can't remember her name. Like, I'm totally having a um, brain fart. Did I say that was the hero fan? Anyways, so redlightreadings.com. And then we have the lovers. And this is... Charlie and Claire Aaron and website is thewordwitch.com all right and then we have the chariot who's Pamela Chen and Pamela Chen um, has like the unicorn tarot and then the witchling tarot which I've done an unboxing of the witchling tarot and her website is magicalpam.com eight is strength and this is Melda Hughes her website is spiritualchickmel.com. Oops. Oops. I'm like not putting these in here right. Okay, they're going to be out of order, whatever. All right. And then we've got um, The Hermit, which is Whitney Bowen Abrams. Her website is Vita, V I T A hyphen lumen l-u-m-e-n dot com then we have the wheel of fortune which obviously this is not a peer very nice the hanged one is Aaron Linto no 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 I'm lying to you oh I was skipping ahead okay the book has them kind of different so this is justice just kidding Benabel Wynn BenabelleWynn.com Benabelle Wynn, if you don't know her, she's also big in the tarot world. Um, I have actually not read any of her books, but I've heard they're great. Okay, now this is the hanged one, just kidding. And this is Erin Linto. ErinLinto.com L-E-N-T-O.com Then we have Death, which I believe is Jamie's boyfriend. Mr. Lion's Heart. And Instagram is at Lion's Heart, H-A-R-T. I think that's Jamie's boyfriend. Don't completely quote me. Sorry, Jamie, if I got that wrong. No, 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 no. I'm lying to you. Her boyfriend is the devil. Um, I don't know who death is. I don't know who Mr. Lion's Heart is. Um, then we have Temperance. Jennifer Lucero Earl. Jennifer Lucero Earl dot com. All right, now this... The devil is Jamie's boyfriend. And that is Tim Fitch, blindluckco.com. Um, I don't, Jamie is also a, um, a tattoo artist. And I don't, maybe her boyfriend is too, I'm not sure. Okay, then we've got Lisa Robertson, who is the tower. And she is, um, well, it puts her at bit.ly forward slash Lisa, L-E-E-Z-A Robertson. And she has books. She's got tarot decks. She also partners with Pamela Chen and their business partners. They do, um, I forget what their, their um, little business is called, but they do um, like courses together. Okay. The star is Chrissy and Donnelly. If you guys don't know who she is, she is the creator of the, um, where is it? The Light Sears Tarot. Um, I'm sure that you guys know that deck. It's Gorge. Um, I don't know that I did a video of it. 
I can if you want me to. It's been out for a while. But anyways, Chrissy Ann Donnelly is Amazeballs. And her link tree is Pixie Curio. P-I-X-I-E-C-U-R-I-O. So then the moon, we have Terry Ayakuzo. That's spelled, so Terry, T-E-R-R-Y. And then it's I-A-C-U-Z-Z-O.com. And then we have the sun, which is, ooh, I don't want to say this wrong. Samaj, Samaj Thomas. That is, website is Tarot by Samaj, if I'm saying it right, S-E-M-A-J.com. Then the, we've got Awakening, which is, oh, so this is, um, oh, hey, all. This is Judgment. So this is the Judgment card, but she's calling it Awakening. And it's Logan Townsend. His website, or his Instagram, excuse me, is Cards Made Mirror. And then we have the world. Ah, I just love it. Her artistry is so freaking awesome. I'm so jealous of people that can draw. So jealous. Somebody give me that talent. Let it magically bing, bang, boom into my life. All right. So let's see if I can... This, this video is going to be long. <laughs> All right, so we have Ace of Wands, Gorge, and then we have Two of Wands, which is Trina, and website, or excuse me, Instagram is at purple underscore moon underscore goddess. Yes, girl, purple goddess, yes, I love your hair. And then we have Three of Wands, which is Andrew Barker. And website is tarotangel444.com. And then we have um, Four of Wands. Lovely. And it is, um, oh, I'm going to say this wrong too. I, I know this is way simpler than, it, than, than what it looks. So the, the woman's name is S-I-O-B-H-A-N. I think it's probably pronounced really easily, but it just looks confusing. And Robert, and their website is sacredcosmos.com. I think that's so great when a couple is magical together. So my boyfriend is, um, he's, he's not a witch. <laughs> he's not really into this stuff, but he can appreciate it and he gets it. Um, and he tolerates all of my, my things, or he tries to tolerate all my things, but anyways, so he's supportive. Five of Wands is J, and Instagram is at the J-O-F hearts, H-E-R, H-E-A-R-T-Z. Six of Wands is Michelle Welch. Soultopia, T-O-P-I-A dot guru, G-U-R-U. I should probably like look at these a little bit better. Oh my God, look, she's got like crystals all over. Oh my God, I love it. Now, this is one of my friends, Seven of Wands, Lucy Morningstar. She is an artist. She is also a, um, a priestess in the coven that I'm in, so she is a friend, um, at least an internet friend, because I've not met any of my, my coven members in person, because we do it all online, especially because of COVID. One of these days, we'll get to do some kind of gathering. So we have Eight of Wands, and this is Kristen. Instagram is at OTM underscore Academy. Um, also, let me go back to Lucy Morningstar. She is the artist of um, of Ethany's tarot deck, uh, Modern Love Tarot. So I have done an unboxing of that. And if you guys, um, I'll try to link it, that tarot deck. Um, it's one of my absolute favorite decks. It's amazing. And Lucy is the artist for that. So anyways. All right, so now we have Nine of Wands, which is Ellen Perkins. 
and her website is G I A S Gifts, G I F T S, capital N, capital J, dot B I Z. Getting a bunch of text messages. Okay, I still have time. Oh, my, my coven is actually texting me right now. So we're planning some new stuff, and I'm excited to be involved in it. Um, we're going to be developing some things for the new witches that come into the coven um, in the coming year uh, revolving around all the Sabbaths. So I'm excited to be a part of that. So I'm going to be in the development and the um, production of that. So we have 10 of Wands, which is Tia Meredith, tiameredith.com. Girl, you're looking cool. I've, I've seen this card because I've, I've stalked Jamie. I've seen, I've probably seen all of them. I just don't really remember every single one. So then we have Page of Wands. Very nice. And this is Jamie, J-A-Y-M-I Elford. And website is innercompasstarot.com. Then we have our Knight of Wands, which is Taryn Elliott. Website is quinnandelliot.com. I wonder if Quinn is the dog. <laughs> and Queen of Wands is Jenna Matlin. JennaMatlin.com. King of Wands is Walter Frierson. And Instagram is at reinvented76. Were you born in 76? Me too, bro. Me too. All right. I'm loving this book too. Like, look at, they've got like a little snippet of each one. She's talking about like the elements associated with each um, suit, like fires, wands. And then obviously we're moving into cups, so we've got water. All right, so we have Ace of Cups. God, isn't Jamie amazing? And these are these are pretty thick cards. They're they're a very nice um, quality card. Um, two of Cups. You guys should know this person, Teresa Reed, with her husband. Teresa Reed is the tarot lady. She has um, she she's uh, the tarot lady .com. Huge in the tarot world and astrology. Um, I have I have her. Um, I think it's called astrology for real life or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, she has the tarot coloring book. She's got podcast tarot, uh, uh, Teresa's freaking fabulous. Okay. Three of cups is Julia waters, Julia underscore stars, S T A R Z. Then we have Tony Kennett as four of cups and he is Kennet, K-E-N-N-E-T-T-E, productions.com. I'm going to have to look up all these people. I think I follow a lot of them, especially when Jamie was putting, um, like, pictures of this on her Instagram. Um, I would follow a bunch of these people. I do follow this next guy. Um, I, I don't know how to say his name. I'm very sorry. So this is Five and Cups. Uh, Shaheen? I don't know if that's right. Miro. S-H-A-H-E-E-N Miro. Insights.com. Um, I, I think he's got a YouTube channel, if I'm not mistaken. All right. And then we've got Five of Cups, which is Rana George. Beautiful. And it's Rana, R-A-N-A, George.com. And then I believe I follow this gentleman too, Michael Richmond, Seven of Cups. Um, I feel like he's got a YouTube channel too, and it's shiningmoonstudio.com. Eight of Cups is Mitchell Osborne. MitchellOsborne.com. Wait, Mitchell Osborne? I know who he is. So, oh, that's so cool. So he is actually, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure that he is teaching a numerology and tarot course through um, Ethity, my high priestess, 
on the Tarot Readers Academy. It's summer school, uh, Tarot Summer School is currently going on, and you know what? I need to sign up for that today. Um, I'm, I'm so behind, it's been going on. But anyways, he's teaching a numerology and tarot course, and um, I was really interested in it. So, hey, okay, I'm glad that I got that reminder. So we have Nine of Cups, which is Maya Pearl, mayapearlyoga.com. Ten of Cups is Richard Howdy Jr. And website is oddmixmarket.com. I do know this gentleman. He um, he has a oracle deck, a couple oracle decks. Um, I don't know if one of them is considered a tarot deck, but maybe there is a tarot and an oracle deck. Anyways. Um, they're really quirky and 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 different. So, all right. Then we have Dr. Michael Anthony as the Page of Cups, and it's the DivinerLife.com is his website. Then we have Stephanie Borden as the Knight of Cups. Instagram is Steffi. S T E P H I E Lee L E E 13. And then we have Queen of Cups as Arwen Lynn Poe. And uh, her link tree is Tarot by Arwen A R W E N. And then the King of Cups is Ruth W. Instagram is Song of the Healer. Awesome. Oh, I love this deck. Well, and not only is this such a cool tribute to all the people in, you know, some of these people are just people in her life, um, but, but, but they're all like creative, magical people, um, but also to um, peers, obviously, pocket of peers, um, of the tarot community. And it's really great because I'm actually meeting new people and um, will go and follow all these people and check out what they have to offer and, you know, pretty cool. So then we have Ace of Swords, Mental Breakthroughs, it says, Realm of Ideas. I hope that you guys are being able to see these good the way that I'm doing this. So Two of Swords is Holly Enchanted. And her website is wildlytarot.com. Then we have, um, wait, where am I at? Okay, okay, here we go. Three of Swords is Trudy Dixon. And Linktree is living.inspired.wellness. And then we have Carrie Paris as the Four of Swords. CarrieParis.com. Five of Swords is Thomas. Hermitsmere.com. Whoops. And then Six of Swords is Beth Hall. And it is BHallDesigns.com. Seven of Swords is Esther Thea. Website is wildlytarot.com. Eight of Swords is Patrick Ken Kenny, and it, <laughs> she labels him as childhood friend. <laughs> he does not have a website. Then we have Nine of Swords is Tony, I don't know if it's pronounced Pool, and website is thecardgeek.com. Oh, I love all the astrology stuff in the background. How cool is that? All right, then we have Ten of Swords is Shannon Gomez. Website is rebeldeck.com. Oh, the rebel deck. <sighs> the rebel deck, I think, it, didn't it have like a unicorn on the front, like a cartoony unicorn, and it's like pink, and like it's like an oracle deck, and it says a bunch of like cuss words and stuff in it. I'm pretty sure. Then we have Page of Swords, which is Anario. Instagram is at Visions by Anario, O-N-A-R-E-O. -E and then 
Knight of Swords is my friend. My camera turned off because this is getting um, long. Okay, sorry, Knight of Swords is my friend and High Priestess, Ethany. Yay! That's my girl. All right, then we have Queen of Swords is Faith Cantrell. EvilPawnJewelry.com. King of Swords is Tom Pilant. Oh, it's her dad. Very nice. That's cool that she, because they're her teachers. So she's got mom and dad both in the deck. That's so cool. How neat. All right, we're moving on to Pentacles. We have our Ace of Pentacles. Love. Two of Pentacles is Samantha, which is a close friend. So now I'm confused. It says Father on the King of Swords, but then on Three of Pentacles, it says JSF and it says Dad. Maybe there's a dad and a stepdad. Okay. Um, then we have Four of Pentacles, Kyla, Give Hand, and it's K I A L A, Give Hand.com. Beautiful. Five of Pentacles is Allison Lamond. Instagram is at Miss Pinkerton. Six of Pentacles is Megan Gallagher, and it's uh, Instagram is at Megan, M E G A N dot Galley, G A L L Y. Girl is beautiful. There's so many beautiful people in this. <laughs> uh, Seven of Pentacles is Cedar McLeod. And it's Numinous Spirit Press. Dot com. And so I guess that's. Is the Numinous Tarot, I think, is. Um, don't quote me. Is his um, work. So then we have Eight of Pentacles, and it's Jamie Sawyer herself. Which I will link her information down below, but her website is Jamie with an IE Sawyer336.com. But again, it'll be down below. Nine of Pentacles is Mari Bento. She is at divinemuses.net. And then we have Ten of Pentacles, which is Jillian C. Wild. Her website is Jillian, J I L L I A I A N C Wild, W I L D E dot com. And that name sounds so familiar to me, but I, I can't remember. Sorry, I can't remember what her. Um, or offerings are, but I will be looking it up. All right, so now we have Page of Pentacles, which is Fatima. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that last name. M B O D J. Her website is pathofawakenings.com. Then we have Knight of Pentacles, which is Jeremy. Instagram is at the underscore Lunamari. L U N A M A R E I. Then we have Queen of Pentacles, which is her best friend, Jenna Diaz, and her website is moonlitfaye.net, and I know that Jenna does offer um, tarot bags that she sews herself, and she will create some tarot bags with um, patterns that go along with the things that Jamie creates, so if you want a tarot bag that, I'm not positive that there's a pocket of peers one there's probably but I know that there's one for um, the Sawyer Path Tarot if it's still available so then we have King of Pentacles which is George Corey and website is spiritlovesyou.com all right and then we have some extra cards and we've got teacher so there's a couple teachers so Mary Kay Greer if you guys don't know her she is huge in the tarot world. You could read her books. All right, next teacher is also huge, Rachel Pollack. Tons of books, amazing. And then our last card is The Study. 
What do you guys think? I am so loving this deck. Oh, these cards feel so nice. They're very nice. Very, very sturdy. Oh my God, I love getting um, decks from Kickstarter because they're always such great quality. Um, because when people back it and they reach these different stretch goals, they're able to put more money into making the deck like a really great deck. They are um, more expensive than something you'd get off of Amazon, but the quality is so wonderful. You are supporting that artist um, and all the little extra touches that they put into their labor of love because I can only imagine what a labor of love <laughs> creating a tarot deck could be. You know, 78 cards, and in this case, um, was there 80? I think she said. Um, feels like there's more than 80. There's 80 something. Um, yeah, I couldn't even imagine. Jamie, awesome. Love the deck. Uh, love all the peers. Very cool. We're going to pull a card and see what you have to say in your book. All right, so we got the Ten of Pentacles. Very nice. All right, let me go find what it says in the book. Um, okay, actually, I need to go back here. So, once uh, Pentacles. Ten. All right, so it's Jillian Wilde. It says, the world we live in often measures success by the legacies we have created, how we approach the world due to our interactions and what carries on after we are gone. The scope of this achievement will vary person to person as not everyone's goal is, everyone's goal is to have millions in their bank account or the lavish apartment in a coveted city neighborhood. Sometimes just having a small spot to feel safe, surrounded by love and gratitude will check all the boxes of your personal success. It's up to you to decide what is valuable and what life you are manifesting. This card reminds us that earthly comforts are attainable. Points to ponder. When this card shows up, it is a clear sign that things are good. Perhaps your vision board is coming to life and what you've been working toward has finally arrived. It also may be asking you to focus a bit on the legacies you are creating, analyze the deeper aspects. What does your story say about you and who you have been? Will you be remembered as a skilled artist, generous philanth philanthropist, or perhaps someone who always seemed to have luck on their side? What more would you like to have done in this world? What's stopping you? Are you too focused on what is coming, that next step, that you forget to see all the good in your current surroundings? Perhaps you've become bored with your living situation, so you are looking for the flaws to give an excuse to shake things up. Ask yourself what is really bothering you and what you are willing to do to change it. Very nice. And like I said, so she's got um, information about the card and then a note section. So this is a very cool book. So if you guys get this deck, I would highly recommend getting um, getting the paper guidebook. Or, you know, if you like the digital version, I'm sure that you can do that and then you can type in your notes, which is also a really good um a really good option. So anyways, I'd love to hear what you guys think about this deck in the comments below. Also, do you like it best when I sit here and show my face and then show the cards this way? Or would you rather me show it face down um, on my desk or altar and it's only the cards? I won't be upset if you'd rather me do it the other way. Um, I would love to hear your um, comments or suggestions on that so I can make these videos better for y'all because this really is about you. Um, and I want you guys to be able to see the items that I'm showing so you can decide for yourself if it's something that you would like. So again, thanks guys for watching. I appreciate y'all. And if you're not a current subscriber, I'd love if you'd hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you are a current subscriber, thank you so much. I really appreciate y'all. And until next time, have a great day. Bye.